big. Uh, I want to expose myself and my family and that family to me and, and just break down any barriers that, that we have. And, have a, and, and having a good time and celebrating in the moment is, is one of the best ways to do that. Uh, the, the reason we like old things and we have reverence for old things is because of the history that they, that they, that they embody and the past that they had. So we're creating memories all the time. So let's create memories, create the bonding, love our, love our past, love where we are, and evolve. If we can be in the now and all learn how to be in the now and be in the now with others, I think a lot of um, perceived problems are gone and we're, I'm growing so much I can't even, I can't even think every day. So probably the same thing I'd like to see with a lot of uh, um, spiritual paths is uh, coalescing, uh, um, uniting, all being able to stand up together and, and uh, even I have uh, uh, problems with other people, you know, just like everyone else here does. And so uh, I think something that took me a long time to say, even with a straight face, was that uh, forgiveness of others is the kindest thing we can do for ourselves. All right, well, here's your opportunity to say anything you want to on the paper. Love. Whatever it is I'm doing, I keep coming back here every time things change in my life. But there's really not that much difference between them, them and the pagan community. That really, underneath it all, we are just people doing our lives day by day. And that if we dropped all of the preconceived notions, we would find that there's a whole lot more in common and there is different. We are one. They're really, we are human community and that is the most important thing is to be the human community and to work together to continue to bring everybody into the human community. I think just, we just need to keep on moving in a forward direction, so to speak. I know, that's, I know that's a subjective term, but, you know, if we just keep moving towards the goal of making the world a unified place and help to break down barriers between people. Because it's a family picnic. <laughs> Like I said, this, this is what's here, regardless of what I'm doing at any point in time. And I tend to, I tend to think about the community every year. I don't always make it here, but I always know that it's here should I decide to, to do that. Part of the family is uh, Tayano, and then my grandmother uh, practiced Santeria um, kind of in private at that time because uh, at that time when my grandmother was alive, it was something that um, you wanted to keep that kind of a secret, hush hush. <laughs> So, do you think that the atmosphere has changed where it's a little bit safer to be out and open with your beliefs? You know, I actually um, find that it's not. I find that I've had several experiences where I've experienced discrimination um, based on uh, my
my religion, um, which is paganism, neighbor accused me of being satanic. He said he didn't like the satanic imagery around my house. And when in fact there's no satanic imagery around my house, he just doesn't understand the symbols. Uh, for example, he doesn't understand the altars. He, did, he uh, Maybe a pentagram is something that to him he would think that's satanic. Um, you know, I have a Native American Indian altar. Uh, that cow or the uh, buffalo skull up there might look a little scary to him. I have um, a Mexican uh, Diablo mask that's there to ward off uh, evil spirits. That might look uh, like satanic imagery to him. Um, he didn't even want to engage with me on it um, because I'm happy to explain if anyone's curious what's what. You know. I have